Hello! Welcome back to my channel. For today, uh, we would be doing a different kind of vlogging. It's more of a little bit of a z serious type and uh, a little bit informative. The topic for my vlog today is that there's a big question. Why do relationships end? And probably I will be giving you some theories and some practicalities with regard to this human relationship. To start off, why do relationship really falls apart? There seem there may seem to be very you know a lot of different reasons why people have to break or to do separate you know go on separate ways, and. Uh, some people would say that there would be eight different reasons why relationships fall apart. And among these eight you know, reasons, probably can identify three that play the most significant role in some of your relationships. And I would like to ask, what is your justification or of your position with regard to this ending so let's start off with the first one they say that the first one the first thing that really affects a relationship to fall apart is social exchange what is this one partner might feel that that person is always or constantly at a disadvantage in the relationship for example that person might always feel that it's a burden that he's the one or she's the one who has the most financial burden. While the other one might feel that, why would I, yeah, I'm not giving up or I'm, I'm, I've given up my career, but I'm the one who's doing the most household chores and I'm the one who's attending to our children. And then with this, a partner may leave a relationship to end this imbalance because it's unfair. You will feel an unfair unfairness. So later on, one one partner or yeah, a partner would take an action like cheating on a spouse to put a relationship back in balance. Second one. Second one, admit it or not, it's boredom. Boredom is another reason why people leave a relationship. In 2013, um, two people have defined boredom as a negative emotional state characterized by lack of excitement and stimulation called a relationship maintenance challenge. So boredom is a perception about a relationship which can be changed. So, yeah. It's not really the person that is boring, but the relationship itself. You know, we have nowhere to go to. For example, you have been together for five years, six years, seven years, and you've been traveling, done a lot of things, uh, been there through thick and thin, and then, you know, husband and wife, and eventually there's no more trail. Third, change. Actually, changes has a great effect on a relationship. One of this could be having a child, illness, moving away from friends, family, unemployment, everything. Regardless whether the change is positive or negative. Next, rule Breaking and trust. Breaking your partner's trust is usually considered as one of the key factors in ending a relationship. Trust can be broken by cheating, being dishonest, or sharing information that has been disclosed. When a partner shares something intimate to a partner, and that partner then shares the information to someone else, regardless if this is your mom or your sibling or your best friend, the breach of trust can lead to the end of relationship. Isn't it even friends if you have said or, you know, shared some 
intimate or some secrets and that person tells to that another person yeah more so if you're really in a relationship communication remember that poor communication can lead to dissatisfaction in a relationship this includes your facial expression your communication style you know lack of disclosure and you know disclosure with the partner there are two things actually in communication it is omission and commission that is lying and not actually communicating things next fatal attraction i remember that film in one of the theory that what attracts us to a partner may be the reason why we end up leaving the relationship for example if you were attracted to your partner because that person is so funny but then when you try to be serious he cannot be or you fell in love with that person because she was an interesting traveler now you find that that person is never at home and you feel left out of that person's life so that's what fatal attraction really is then of course differences in priorities and values one key differences or difference in priorities that often hurts a relationship is the importance of professional career versus a family as we age it can also be a change in values with regard to religion or politics or saving money or living life to the fullest actually it would really affect a relationship i even know before yeah the dilawan versus the the tertards among friends you know they really somehow affects it really somehow affects the relationship jealousy jealousy that is believing that your partner is interested in someone else often can have a negative effect on a relationship it indicates that you're concerned that your partner may break your trust in the future that's it the green eye monster so with regard to this i would like to ask you again which among this that really somehow affected why your relationship ended is it social exchange is it change is it boredom is it rule breaking fatal attraction communication differences in priorities and values and last but not the least jealousy so with that you should have a conscious effort if you're leading to such a relationship that is somehow you know on rocky roads or hitting the rock bottom try to identify which among these that's hurting your relationship and work it out with that i do hope that i helped you thank you